What's worse than incompetent drone operators? Incompetent airline pilots. Never have I seen such bollocks in my entire life. Hi, I'm Ashton Droning On, and if you enjoy topical videos like this, then hit that subscribe button below. Anyway, in the news today is an absolute pile of nonsense which continues to just slander drones as we're already pretty used to. The Daily Mail is the absolute trashy UK newspaper with a website presence as well. They waste internet bandwidth writing stories about Z-list nobody celebrities and picking up the pointless news stories that nobody else wants to cover. They're effectively like the seagulls of the news world. They are the kings of sensationalism, and in their latest story, they're criticizing drones once again. Their latest story involves an EasyJet A320 Airbus plane carrying 186 passengers from Manchester Airport heading towards Greece. Apparently this airliner is traveling at 320 miles per hour when the pilots both conveniently spot a drone fly past the windshield, missing it by just three feet. According to the chief pilot, the drone passes just less than a metre from the windshield. They immediately report this incident to the air traffic control, who then raise what's called an air prox report. That's the UK board for safety, where any aviation related incidents are reported. They're also then logged, investigated and concluded. The airliner had only just taken off, so it was traveling at 8,000 feet, which is about 2,500 meters. And despite that and being in the takeoff routine, both pilots conveniently spotted the drone whiz past them. Also, despite the fact that they were traveling at 320 miles per hour. Considering everything going on, you'd find it hard to believe that they knew even what color and how much the drone weighed, right? Well, be surprised, because according to the pilots, it weighed approximately 10 kilograms, measured about 50 centimeters long, and apparently it was also blue. Given the apparent size and weight of this drone, the pilot rated the chances of collision as high. The pilots also mentioned that the drone was flying at the same altitude as the plane. Now, given that the pilots could see the drone through the window, they also stated that it was less than a meter away from that window, suggests that the drone was actually then flying in line with the window, otherwise they wouldn't see it. Now, if you look at the A320 aircraft, you can see that not only do you have the wings just behind the windows, but you also have the rear elevator. And if the drone genuinely was flying at that exact altitude just outside the window, then I find it incredibly surprising that such a large, heavy drone wouldn't have hit the rear elevator stabilizer. Or are these two EasyJet airline pilots just incompetent? The National Air Traffic Control Organization, also known as NATS, investigated this incident and they returned that they found absolutely no trace of anything that could resemble a drone within primary or secondary radar contact in the vicinity of this incident. The Airprox Investigation Board concluded, however, that given the description of the drone, that there was enough evidence to suggest that there could have been a drone. But there's emphasis here on the fact that once again, they're claiming a drone incident when actually there was no evidence of a drone. Airliners these days are fitted with multiple cameras inside and out, and yet there's no video evidence of this apparent drone. The airline pilots were engaged in a takeoff, and yet both of them managed to spot a drone less than a metre outside the window of their plane whilst they were travelling at 320 miles per hour, whilst also in parallel making sure that a plane with almost 200 passengers got off the ground safely. I find it deeply disturbing and troubling that these pilots would make up such a story because quite honestly, unless there's evidence, it didn't happen. If you are accused of a crime and yet there's absolutely no evidence of that crime taking place despite a court case and investigation, then it's quite likely that the accuser would be actually then arrested for false allegations. It's about time that these incompetent airline pilots that keep suggesting that they've spotted a drone in mid-flight are also held accountable for making up such ridiculous stories and slandering the names of drones and drone operators globally. Be sure to share this video because your friends and family seeing headlines like this will believe it. They don't question it because they probably don't fly drones and so they don't know that this story just has absolutely no evidence nor substance. Let's defend the good names of drones and us, the drone community. Not all of us drone operators are incompetent just as not all motorists are incompetent on the road. There are some out there that fly over congested cities or some that fly far too high illegally, but we're not all idiots. Comment below with your thoughts on this frustrating story. Give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you're one of those complete wackers that flies their drones illegally. And of course, hit that subscribe button. Thanks very much for watching. Thank you.